So I have this patient uh, who is on adaptive support ventilation, ASB, and I thought I would uh, go over uh, the details of this mode, what is this patient doing, and make some interpretations. As you know, in this mode, we target minute ventilation. And we decided here that we want the patient to get 100% of the minute ventilation. So the machine is set to deliver a minute ventilation of 100% of his needs. Then the machine will take the ideal body weight for the patient, which is 67 kg, and multiply that by 100 ml. And that will give you a targeted minute ventilation of 6.7 liters. Now the other settings would be the, resp uh, the uh, PEEP and the FiO2 for the oxidation. So essentially, you're just setting minute ventilation. And if, as you know, minute ventilation is respiratory rate multiplied by tidal volume. So the machine will, will determine the optimal respiratory, respiratory rate for the patient. This is done based on calculation of the RC, which is time constant, resistance multiplied by compliance. Based on the RC, the best or the optimal respiratory rate is determined. And here you can see that machine is targeting optimal respiratory rate of 15 per minute. And at the same time, it determines the optimal or the target tidal volume. And here it is decided that the optimal tidal volume for the patient will be around 440. If the patient is not breathing, the machine will deliver 440 multiplied by 15 rate in a PRVC mode of ventilation and the inspiratory time will be 1.97 for each breath. If the patient is breathing, it will move to volume assured in a pressure supported breath to assure that the patient gets a volume of 450, uh, 440. And of course, the patient is initiating the breath. The machine will utilize whatever pressure is required to deliver 440. So essentially, it will be pressure supported uh, press, but the pressure support is variable. That's why we say volume assured. So let's take a look on this patient. Once we set the patient uh, with these settings, 100% here, this is determined, we get this graph. This graph will plot the tidal volume against the respiratory rate. And you get this green curve. On that green curve, you will see that there's a target. And the target here, tidal volume 440 and respiratory rate 15. And then you get a box that will give you the limits. The machine will alert you for any rate above that limit on the right side here, which is probably around 46, or a, a lower rate, less than 8, uh, on the left side here. At the same time, it will have a limit for high tidal volume or low tidal volume. And then you see what's happening for the patient. As you see, you have the cross sign here or the plus sign, and this is what the patient is actually doing right now. So he's at target in terms of the tidal volume but his respiratory rate is high. So the tidal volume of 440, and you can see that here, we'll come back to this, is done with pressure support. You can see here that the patient is initiating all the breaths. Every time the machine is triggered, a pressure is given to the patient. That pressure goes up around to around 14, 15 for the duration of inspiration which is determined by the flow. So this is a decelerating flow waveform, and once it reaches a certain value, the pressure is released. So this is 
exactly similar to pressure support breath but this is volume assured the purpose of the pressure support here is to assure that the patient gets 440 every time if less than 440 delivered the pressure will go up so now what the patient is doing is the following this is his tidal volume which is at target however his respiratory rate is higher than the target of course there is no way for the machine to lower that respiratory rate and of course you can see that here on the pressure to volume uh, loop this is the peep of five inspiration and expiration of course the once the patient uh, initiating the breath the pressure goes down and you can see it goes down to minus one correlating to this, to this point here and then the pressure goes up to around 15 this spike here is correlating with this one here excellent so now the question is why this is happening the minute ventilation that the patient is getting right now is 11.2 which is higher than the targeted minute ventilation which is 6.7 so there are two things that could actually explain this number one the fact what, that we're setting this at 100% is not accurate the patient requires higher minute ventilation so if we're setting it at 100% and we're saying that he needs 6.7 liters in fact he has something in his body that requiring higher minute ventilation so the patient could be septic could be febrile could be uh, having hyperthyroidism uh, or any uh, etiology for high metabolic rate in other words we do not know exactly how much does he need once we set it up and he decides that this is 11.5 so this is almost 1.8 or 180 percent of the uh, uh, the minute ventilation that we're setting him on so that's number one that there is a high metabolic demand and the patient's um, needs are much higher than 100 percent of his normal minute ventilation and he's doing that for himself because he knows what he needs so he's got a tachypnea but the machine will not let him get larger tidal volume because if he started to inhale deeper it will lower the pressure support to keep the tidal volume at this range that's number one number two well the needs for the minute ventilation is accurate he doesn't need more than this however he has a reason why he's anxious he's agitated he's in pain uh, he's got central hyperventilation so the respiratory drive is actually firing off more frequently and that's why he's tachycardic so you need to look at this you need to see if he's in pain if he's restless if he's agitated he's, uh, he needs to be uh, on higher uh, uh, fentanyl uh, sedated better uh, any of this would actually explain why his of course if this is the case and you do abgs with this higher minute ventilation than what his need what what he needs his co2 is going to be low so if you do abgs in this situation you're going to see that his co2 uh, or the pco2 is uh, around uh, uh, 30. but in the first case if it is because of high metabolic demand you do abgs you would see that well his pco2 is probably probably normal so um i guess with this uh i hope i gave you a better uh, uh, description of what's happening here of course uh, i did not talk about this but this is actually reflected here you can see this is the respiratory rate of 26 per minute this is the tidal volume this is the peak pressure and this is the minute ventilation here and this is the how much tidal volume per ideal body weight and since the patient is actually doing pressure support it will give you the machine will give you rapid shallow breathing index uh, He's getting good tidal volume for the respiratory rate. So, so I hope this is helpful. If you have any question, please uh, uh, share it in the comment section, and I'll try my best to answer those. Thank you.